Lebanon, Ohio is the latest community to declare itself a sanctuary city for the unborn. There is no abortion clinic here, but city leaders say that's not the point. Sometimes being an elected official means you step out. Longtime Mayor Amy Brewer says Lebanon wants to make it clear abortion providers are not welcome. Without being proactive, something like this could come into our community and we would be unable to stop it. Of course, not everyone here supports the ordinance. Those who oppose it say it's simply beyond the scope of this small town and that it will harm women who are seeking an abortion. Abortion bans do not stop abortions. They only stop safe abortions. If you pass this, the number of back alley abortions will go up. In late May, the city council heard from both sides of the issue for four hours, then voted unanimously to pass the ordinance. City leaders say their intent is neither to harm women nor prevent them from getting an abortion outside of Lebanon. It is specifically written to say the mother that is in this situation needs mercy. There is no penalty for them whatsoever. Those individuals within our community who share a different perspective than I do still have those same opportunities, those same resources. That includes a local pregnancy center for women in crisis. City leaders credit a college student, 19-year-old Josh Beckman, with suggesting the ordinance. Oh, God just put it in my mind, sanctuary city for the unborn. They also credit the president, whose strong abortion support emboldened their pro-life commitment. President Biden has said that he wants abortion access available in every single zip code of this country. We have our own zip code and we have a people that we want to be able to protect. Mike Gonadakis leads Ohio Right to Life and says his phone started raining off the hook after Lebanon passed its ban. You're going to start seeing cities, townships, and villages across the state of Ohio passing these. We believe counties, county commissioners, will pass these as well. Outside Ohio, movement leaders say communities in half a dozen states are considering bans as well. The big hope for these pro-life leaders comes in the fall at the Supreme Court. Justices will hear the Dobbs case, which directly challenges Roe v. Wade and Casey v. Planned Parenthood. It contests a Mississippi law forbidding abortions after 15 weeks. Ganadakis says a slew of local abortion bans this summer could send a strong signal to the court. We can send letters and we can send emails, but if we have our local governments telling them by passing ordinances and laws that we want to end this, the court's going to listen. Regent University law professor Brad Jacob isn't so sure, saying it's debatable just how important such cultural cues are in the court's decision-making. I'm not sure that, that a popular opinion poll is going to sway very many of the justices. And the reality is Americans are split on abortion. A June Gallup poll found 52 percent think it should be illegal or legal in only a few circumstances. 45 percent support it in all or most. Jacob and other scholars say the local abortion bans could pose legal pitfalls, depending on how they're crafted. The city ordinance might be flat unconstitutional. They could get hauled into federal court. Another challenge, state politics. A city or a county is a creature of state law. And ultimately, if the state doesn't like what the city is doing, the state can find a way to stop it. So far, the bans in these sanctuary cities remain. Most recently, a federal judge in Texas dismissed a Planned Parenthood lawsuit trying to overturn a voter-approved measure in Lubbock. Here in Ohio, the Lebanon mayor is prepared for such a challenge. Her yes vote, she says, has already led to personal threats. We took a bold move. We took a brave move. And you can do one of two things. You can be an elected official and ride the fence and do nothing. Or you can do what you feel is best and take a stand on something. For Brewer and other backers of these bans, it's important to take that stand, at least within their own city limits. Reporting in Lebanon, Ohio, Heather Sells, CBN News.